This is uh, 14 and a half minutes into an A-Rod flight. And we are at the ceiling, basically. As high as would be comfortable to go. This is flying on uh, Nick Ray's loop of rubber that he loaned me. It takes more turns than mine did, probably because better, better sized. I know. I know. But it looks so nice. I built a new one with absolutely symmetric transmission. Ah. Hey guys, so y'all have seen this airplane before uh, on a couple of occasions. This is a Cat's Meow V2. This is in fact the Cat's Meow V2 that was used for our build video on this airplane. Uh, and so we've got some flight footage and some things of that, and, and you know, the full build of this specific airplane. Um, there was a little more of it then, you know, because we're missing pieces and pieces and pieces because it's well flown. Um, oh, and this chunk that's been missing for <laughs> since before the 2021 Nationals. It's 2023 now. So I went to a contest this weekend, or this past weekend, um, two weekends ago, whatever, and uh, it was at the Kent uh, Field House in Kent, uh, at Kent State University. I've flown there before, very high ceiling. Uh, the roof peaks out at close to 55 feet, something of that nature. Uh, and uh, I was expecting to fly indoor rubber and do very well at it and that type of thing and then I got the weather forecast saying it was gonna be cold so we went in there and flew in 55 60 degree weather uh, I thought well I'll take a glider along because gliders like cold weather and so I'll fly this against the usual suspects and fill out the bottom half of the results that's not quite how things went down so at the 2021 Nationals, launching maybe a smidge over halfway to the ceiling, this airplane was doing 58 second flights pretty reliably. And I had the thought, you know, this plane could do with a little more power, because I was only flying, launching with a loop of 1 8, which is what you've seen me do in the videos. And so, you know, that's all cool. How this actually went down was uh, the Donis Lazarczyk walked up to me and says, Josh, you need to do a pair of minute sevens. None of the other glider people showed up, beside the point, but uh, I, I, I kind of chuckled and said, yeah, that'll be the day. Uh, and then I started putting up minute and then minute five flights and realized, huh, we could do something here. So we went for official flights. Nick Ray was uh, encouraging me giving me the kick in the rear to, to get it in gear. And uh, so I put up a, a minute seven and a minute eight, um, and then another minute eight, and so that got me the category two record with an airplane that was built for a build video and is tattered and all that jazz. Because before I got to flying was when I broke the finger grip and that finger grip. So yeah, yay. Um, so flying a damaged airplane with a missing wing tip that, oh, by the way, I carried through the rain into the building, unprotected, because I don't have a box to put it in. 
because the wing's not removable. Yay! Uh, yeah, so, bottom line, uh, we made a couple series of flights and ended up with a 73 and a 72, which, uh, resoundingly broke the standing record by, I think, um, I think it was almost a 10% increase over the, uh, the standing record, which is a, uh, that's a lot. That's, that's quite a bit. Um, much, much more than I would have expected to, to get with something like this, especially an airplane that has no composite structure in any of the flying surfaces. Uh, very, very unusual in that regard. But the airplane just flies, and it flies great, and you're going to get to see footage of it doing its thing. And uh, these are this is from some test flights actually after the record was set. <laughs> yeah, it's a very, very consistent, reliable airplane. I'll write that down and take care of it for you. Don't worry about your plan. 
You going up too fast now? So I hope y'all enjoy that. I hope you check out the kit for this airplane. Uh, join National Free Flight Society because they will have plans for this uh, in an upcoming issue with an article. Uh, check out indoornewsandviews.com as well. Also, we'll have some data on this airplane. So we'll see you. Uh, and stay tuned for, for some more fantastic footage. There will also be some other highlights from the contest. So we'll see you. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.